went to our local Toys R Us in the UK today and fortunately they'd had a shipment in of the new Toys R Us exclusive Fear Leading Ghoul Spirits pack. As you can see it's in the Wave 3 style packaging with the zipper on the side and they have some plaid at the bottom, a Monster High support flag detail and a skelet zipper. Um, we were quite fortunate that they were in because our Toys R Us seems to be terrible at getting new things in. I think this is the first Wave 3 shipment that they've had in. I'm not sure if it's the same for everywhere in the UK but this is the first of the new series that we've actually seen in our Toys R Us. On the far left of the box we have Draculaura and she has her pom-poms which are flat packed I'm assuming that when you take them out you can actually puff them out so that they look more like pom-poms um, she has her skullet here with the bat wing pigtails and the fangs um, when we were looking at the dolls we noticed some of them had quite loose hair tied up so we tried to find one with a quite tight bun rather than the loose ones um, then we have Cleo in the middle and she has a megaphone like the um, Frankenstein school spirits outfit did um, with some of the Cleos we found that they had quite strange wide eyes when we were looking there's her um, mummy wrapped skelet there and then we have Gulia on the far right and she's obviously not actually in the fear squad so she's supporting them she has a foam finger there which is quite fuzzy looking and doesn't look as clear as some of the pictures on the internet uh, and she has her flag in the bag and there's her skelet with glasses and earrings and um, we noticed on the background here as well as the bit that says Monster High Rocks there's also a love heart that says C and D forever so we were talking about it and we were thinking that it could either be Claude and Draculaura forever or Cleo and Deuce forever so it's whichever couple you prefer or whatever you want it to be really so we're going to take them out of the box and leave them on the back packaging so you can see them and then we'll unbox them after that in case anyone wanted to see before we unpack them this is the back of the box of a cartoon for Draculaura, Cleo and Gulia. and I'm not sure about any of the viewers out there but the Gulio one actually kind of scares me <laughs> okay these are the dolls out of the box in the back packaging as you can see the stairs here are 3D coming out of the box so that Gulio can sit on them let's fold it up a bit here on ours push that down um, so you can see the graffiti on the bleach is a bit better there and obviously there's a lot of flag designs in the background for Sporting Monster High and this little go team thing here that you can take out and stick on the wall if you want to um, there's only one brush to go between them thankfully this time so you're not overrun with brushes and um, the stands are hidden behind this bit here so if I just move that they're in there. They're all black, the same as for the Gloom Beach dolls. And the bases and clips for the sands are in a little plastic thing that was just in the back of the box. So we're going to take these out of the box and stand them up now. Here out of the box we have Cleo Denial. Um, the first thing we noticed when we unboxed her, we didn't actually notice it when she was in the packaging, but she actually has some braids in her hair. There's four of those so you might want to be careful when you're brushing her hair. There's a lot more brown and gold in her hair as well than there was in the basic line in the first wave. It, we also noticed that she's wearing gold skelet earrings this time around because everyone on the first squad and in the school spirits range is wearing skelet earrings 
she has the same blue gem as in her basic outfit the Gloom Beach one had a brown gem but her makeup's changed this time around it's more of a pink than a purple and her lipstick is lighter and she's wearing the same bandage choker from her basic outfit There's the Monster High logo fear leading outfit from the webisodes people recognize with her bandage sleeve from the basic outfit that she also wears for her fear leading and she has shorter bandage leggings this time round with the bandage on the other side and a spare bit of bandage here above her shoe and she has the same shoes as the school spirits Frankie outfit did with the lightning bolt heel Okay, and this is the accessory that she came with, a megaphone in the skelet shape. And we noticed that the paint with this is actually quite rough textured, it's quite bumpy. Whereas on the megaphone that came with Frankie it was actually quite smooth paint, so we might give her Frankie's. Okay, here we have Draculaura out of the box. Um, her hair is tied up in what I guess is buns on top of her head with the other hair fanning out. Um, her skelet earrings are pink, seeing as that's her favourite colour. And her eye makeup this time around is very, very pink. This is her lipstick. Her outfit is quite different from the rest of them, seeing as she is the only one with long sleeves. She actually has some slightly glittery white long sleeves here with pink rim. That she's added to the general outfit and you can see we got her to hold one of the pom-poms here so you can see what it looks like holding them. We couldn't quite figure out how to puff it out at all so it's just kind of 2D if you turn it with her hand in there. If anyone else figures out how to fan them out then <laughs> it would be helpful if you could tell us but if not then never mind. Um, she's wearing some pink fishnet leggings I suppose since they don't go all the way over her feet they stop just above the shoe. She has the same shoes as Cleo does, the same as on the Frankie Stein fear leading outfit that came out a while ago. It's just the general shoes for the fear leading team. And we have the other one of her pom poms here. And if you spread the pieces out, there's actually a little elastic piece in there to thread the hands through so that she can hold them. And finally, here we have Gulia Yelps out of the packaging. Her hair, as you can see, is up in a ponytail this time. It's wavier than it was before. Something red stuck in her hair, just get that out. It's much wavier than it was before. And her bangs, as they call them in America. They're loose rather than tucked in behind her headband, seeing as she isn't wearing one this time. She has white skelet earrings and her glasses have a kind of lightning bolt shape to them probably supporting the team there's a lot of lightning bolts going on if I just lift her glasses up a sec she's wearing grey and silver makeup she has pink lipstick and here she's wearing a zipped up hoodie it has a little zip detail on there doesn't actually move but it's a nice touch um, in original pictures we initially thought that this was a cape but it's actually a hoodie it has the same design as the Gooners in her basic one so that you can 
put her ponytail through there if you want to put it up. And underneath the hoodie she's wearing a red shirt with a kind of a brain detail on there. She has a Monster High logo belt and some black and red short shorts. And here we notice that she's wearing a gold and black bracelet which looks more like it should be Cleo's seeing as it's the same as the ones from the School Spirits range but in Cleo's colours. Um, so either it should be on Cleo or it's a kind of a friendship bracelet type of thing going on. She has some long black socks with the team trim and her red shoes have a wedge there with the black lightning bolt design at the back. Um, Gulia comes with the most accessories out of all of them. She actually comes with three things. She has her flag that you can get her to hold. There's only a sticker on the one side. You need to get her holding it that way. And she has her foam finger which is to be held on the other hand. It's more detailed when it's out of the box, but it's still not quite as bold as we thought it was going to be. And she also has her gym bag, which does open. They've put some card on the inside to puff it out. And netting on the sides would be a drink holder. And that's Gooey's accessories. And here we have them on our shelf, posed with the rest of the School Spirit Outfit goals. Um, we do have Deuce's outfit as well, but we need to get another Deuce so that we can dress him up, because we like to have them displayed in their outfits. <laughs>